Hi, hello, 안녕, 레이다 반갑습니다. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome, welcome. My name is Ray, and if you don't know who I am, that is okay because you can find out more about me here on all social media platforms. My skin type is oily, sensitive, dehydrated, and reactive, and depending on the season, it can also be combination. Today, we are looking at Isntree and their hyaluronic acid line. Of course, we are no strangers to Isntree. I am an Isntreean. This is a brand that I feel is on the same playing field as Cosrx. Isntree is one of the few K-beauty brands that don't subscribe to the BS of skincare. Majority of their products do not have fragrance, essential oils, and additive ingredients that can potentially cause irritations. For those of you who do not know about hyaluronic acid, here's a crash course. Hyaluronic acid binds water molecules to itself and brings hydration and moisture deep into our skin. And hyaluronic acid actually comes in different sizes per molecular structure. The larger the molecular size, the more it would stay on the outer layers of our skin because it's just too big to penetrate deep into our skin layers. Having different size hyaluronic acid molecules in a product can evenly distribute hydration to the different layers of our skin. The more hydrated our skin barrier is, the less wrinkles we're gonna get. However, for some people, hyaluronic acid can cause irritations because the acid is actively pulling moisture from the air as well as on our skin to hydrate our skin barrier. And that microscopic process can cause itchiness, but that can actually be resolved if you make sure that your skin is already damp before applying any hyaluronic acid products. In other words, the less the hyaluronic acid has to work in your skin, the lower the irritation rate. And that concludes our hyaluronic acid crash course. On this channel, we review a Asian skincare products so that you can shop with confidence. Everything I say in this video comes from my personal experiences. If you have any serious skin concerns, please consult your trusted dermatologist or esthetician. With that being said, let's go! My current favorite hyaluronic acid toner is Hadalabo's Goku Jun Lotion, which is a Japanese toner. And I have not found a hyaluronic acid toner that can replace Hadalabo's. But Isn't Tree's hyaluronic acid toner surprised me? This toner has a fairly short ingredients list, and most of the ingredients help bind and boost hydration in your skin. I actually love this toner's texture more than I do Hadalabo's Goku Jun. It's very watery and not viscous at all. This feels so gentle on my skin and you can actually use this with or without a cotton pad. The moment I used this, I was like, it's an A+. It is honestly just so, so good. I am so shocked by how much I love this toner and I think it's because hyaluronic acid is a very common ingredient in skincare, especially Korean skincare. And a lot of times when you see hyaluronic acid being the key ingredient of a product, especially in a toner, you're kind of like, well, it's a very common ingredient and I don't see anything special about it. But this goes to show that sometimes simple is best. Seriously, there's really nothing special about this toner and that's why I love it so much. There's no gimmick to it. It's just a very effective toner that does exactly what it says it would do. For the longest time, Pyongkang Yul's Moisture Cream has been my favorite holy grail moisturizer. When nothing else works for me, I just know that Pyongkang Yul's moisture cream will work for me. But I have cheated on my lover recently. That's because I have tried Isn't Tree's Aqua Gel Cream and I fell deeply in love. I'm sorry Pyongkang Yul. I'm so sorry. This moisturizer comes in 100 milliliters just like Pyongkang Yul's, except this one comes in a tube. Literally everything I can ask for in a moisturizer. Volume, tube. Super hygienic, I love it so much. I feel guilty for loving this so much because I honestly feel like I am cheating on my lover of seven years. This is a water burst moisturizer that is lightweight and melts quickly into the skin. And it does not leave your skin with that silicone-like feeling. It is super breathable. And I find that, oh my gosh, I feel so bad for saying this, but honestly, I found that this moisturizer kept my skin hydrated longer, much longer than Pyongkang Yul's Moisture Cream. I Notice that this moisturizer also contains a licorice root extract, which is great for reviving dull skin. Pairing this moisturizer with a vitamin C serum or a niacinamide serum would be amazing. However, licorice root extract can also be an irritant, so it is best not to pair this moisturizer with retinols. However, I feel like if you're using a, like a low percentage retinol, like a 0.1%, I think that's totally fine to pair this with it. But then again, I feel like a lot of people have different 
different opinions on retinols and how and what you should pair it with. So I'm just gonna leave that decision up to you. I have used moisturizers in the past where I feel like I can say that they run alongside Pyong Kang Yul's moisture cream, but I feel like Isn't Tree's Aqua Gel Cream really shattered my expectations in the best way possible and it's the first moisturizer where I feel like it can actually surpass Pyong Kang Yul's moisture cream. I know I feel like I keep comparing these two products but I feel like from texture, formulation, ingredients even, they are very similar. Even the amount of products that we're given. And I feel like the price range are also very close as well. This moisturizer is an A+. This is a holy grail, so good, excellent, amazing, gorgeous, magnificent. Mm. This is Isntree's Watery Sun Gel. It's a chemical sunscreen that works to convert UVA and UVB rays into heat energy for the skin. If you prefer sunscreens with physical UV filters, Isntree also has the Watery Sun Cream, which is much thicker and can give you a white cast. I have been using this sunscreen for the past two years now. In 2021, I reviewed this sunscreen when it first launched, and since then it's gotten a new look. However, the formula and ingredients are all the same. I'm not going to talk too much about this sunscreen today since I've talked a lot about this sunscreen in detail last time. So I'm going to leave that video link in the description box or somewhere on the screen. A few things to keep in mind. This sunscreen leaves you with a very dewy finish. It has no fragrance but because it is a chemical sunscreen it can cause eye stinging which actually happened to me. But it's not too bad. I feel like it just causes a little bit of dryness around my eye area especially during the hotter seasons when like my sweat kind of mixes in with the chemical filters and it just trickles around my eye area. It causes a little bit of irritation but it's nothing where I'm like I hate the sunscreen, I never want to use it. This sunscreen does leave a subtle white cast on your skin especially if you have like a deeper darker skin tone but I've noticed that after a few minutes of massaging it and just wearing it the white cast kind of just goes away and becomes like this very dewy finish. It does give my skin that natural plumping glowing effect. Overall this this is a very solid sunscreen that's been in my rotation for the past two years. I forgot what I rated it back then. I think I said that I couldn't rate it because it was still so new and I was really just trying to test it out. So I don't think I rated it any numbers or letters and I keep switching between numbers and letters so I would never know. So this time I'm going to rate this an A-. minus, And this is based on two years of using this sunscreen. I like the sunscreen but I feel like there are a lot of sunscreens nowadays that can give me the same plumping and high hydrating effects without that greasiness. Oh, and one more thing about this sunscreen, it has eight types of hyaluronic acid. Going back to what we were talking about earlier, about the different sizes of hyaluronic acid and the different molecular structures, which means that in theory, this sunscreen is supposed to deliver hydration to the different layers of our skin. I have been wanting to try this sunstick for the longest time. I love sunsticks that have unique shapes to them, kind of like a Beebs quick sunstick which has like a curved shape to it like a gua sha and this sunstick has a teardrop shape. Out of all the sunsticks I've ever tried over the last two years this one was the easiest to apply. I did not have to warm this up too much on my skin before letting it glide easily. It just glides so quickly and easily and effortlessly on my skin right out of the box. I actually prefer this teardrop shape over a Beebs curved gua sha shape because I can actually use Use the pointed area or like the tippy top of the teardrop shape to work around my nose area. In addition to hyaluronic acid, this sunstick also contains bamboo water, kelp extract, and aloe vera extract to provide extra hydration and calming benefits. With sunsticks, you actually should be swiping at least four times over the same skin area for ideal SPF coverage. I noticed that with multiple layers of the sunstick on the same area does bring me a bit of that white residue. Overall, this is a very easy to use sunstick. The size is perfect for traveling. It is so petite. Just throw it in your bag and you're ready to go. There is no fragrance, so it shouldn't cause any eye stinging or other irritations. At least from my personal experience, I have not experienced any discomfort around my eye area. 
idea. I'm gonna give this sun stick an A because one, this teardrop shape is actually ideal for getting that maximum sunscreen coverage. Number two, no fragrance. Number three, the texture upon gliding on your skin is just so smooth. It could become an A plus if it didn't give me that white residue after applying multiple layers of it. That is all for this video. I am so glad that I got to try Isn't Tree's Hyaluronic Acid range. And I was once again reminded by how much I love Isn't Tree. This skincare range truly proves that you don't need fancy ingredients to make your products effective. Isn't Tree is seriously outdoing a lot of other brands right now in terms of ingredients, formulation, and customer feedback. Thank you YesStyle for sending over these products as gifts and making this video possible. I will leave all the product links in the down bar below for you guys to check out in case you guys are interested. Please help this channel grow by subscribing and sharing this video with your friends and family. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time but until then be safe stay hydrated and most importantly be gentle with yourself i mean it annyeong come back for more to say you